Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you may be in this wonderful, splendid world. So what am I doing in an underground parking lot at a hotel, fully armed with a Harley? I'll tell you about it on the way. Do I find myself riding across the desert on a Harley with no name? We've just finished the 2022 Exposure International Photography Festival. What an awesome experience hanging out with the elite photographers of the world, not an ego amongst them. Even in the evenings, we'd hang out at this little Lebanese takeaway restaurant by the street as opposed to our five-star hotel. I think that says a lot about egos. So why the desert? Why the Harley? I wanted a bike whilst out here go explore, see what there is to see. Unfortunately, I left it to the last minute. The last bike in the shop was a Harley, and it's kind of fun. I owned a Harley quite some years ago and did over 40, 50,000 miles maybe. I wanted to see the desert. We're gonna go through some mountains. I'm told it's really rather lovely. Now, of course, the light isn't perfect for the hardcore landscape photographer, so we're going to see what we can find along the way and make the best of it for what we have. I mean, you know, you're on holiday, you're exploring. You can't always go out at four o'clock in the morning, can you? Let's just boogie on down this long road, which isn't at all windy, see what we can find. I have just spotted the classic tourist shot. There's a camel there and the camel driver is heading this way. I so hope he doesn't move the camel or try and pose with us. I quickly shoved a long lens on. Hello, fella. Uh, what do we want? We want a wide aperture. We want to try and blur the background. I quite like the mountains. And there's this building in the distance here. You see this here? I quite like that. I'm wondering, can I find the place where I can get a bit of camel portrait with building blurry in the background? Let's see. Look. See, we just had a little bit of sharp camel. Never work with children or animals, they say. I am obviously making a rod. Hello? Hello? You see, now here's camel face. And because he's moved, I've got to move you. And so the dance begins. You remember that video we did with the New Forest Ponies? Somewhere here. Oh, where am I going to put you? I have to put you there. Sorry, this is so rough and ready. Look, you see, as soon as I turn around, you fall over. Because I want this guy to put his head up, obviously. I'm going to move you again because nothing is in quite the right place. And I get that shot. Not ideal, I need to move over here. We need to move over here. Right, let me talk about settings while I'm doing it. I've got a wide-ish aperture because I particularly want, oh, climbing around in here, to try and blur the background a bit, something like that. So I've got one shot that's nearly good. Hello, buddy. Hello, mate. 
there we go this is starting to work a bit better isn't it hey look at you the crazy camel i think i might hang on just a moment and see if i can get a couple more and if i can then i will pop them on screen for you at the end hey buddy what are you doing what are you doing mr camel I do believe Charlotte government obviously knew I was coming because they built this lovely new piece of road back through the mountains, back in the direction of the city. So the takeaway with the camels, long lens, wide aperture, shallow depth of field, concentrate the action on the camel. Long lens, narrow field of view as well. So you can really concentrate on what you want to see. Now if you're driving in a car and you're exploring that way, how much better is that going to be? Because you can just grab the camera off the seat and go shoot. With a bike it's a little bit more hard work, but I personally think it is so well worth it. Am I going the right way here? Halo, what a halo. I don't know how it's pronounced. Someone told me it was worth stopping here just to have a little look around. There is a wadi here, a uh, wadi being a place where water gathers. Uh, they can be quite dangerous if it's raining. Now, this all looks a little bit new, sort of like a modern development. And the very fact there's a big car park here suggests there's something to look at somewhere. It is kind of attractive. I like the whites against the blue sky. Look at that over there. Oh, hello. More dirt road. Yeah, we can do it. Oh, this is getting a bit more interesting, isn't it? I guess as ever, the local people live down here in the valley. Well, the modern development is a little higher up on the hill, all clean and white and shiny and pristine and lovely. Let's just have a little ride through, see what we can see. It's always interesting just exploring how someone else lives, another culture. These places are fascinating places just to walk around with your camera, connect with the local people, find out who they are, what they're doing, get some photos of their lives. But you've got to invest a bit of time into that. You need to spend time with them. This is much more the kind of deserty Arab Emirate sort of a place that interests me, to be honest, rather than the big fast highways. Now, riding roads like this on a Harley Davidson are not a great idea, but I do just want to see what's here. That looks like it's kind of the end of the village. And then we sort of run out. I have no idea what that was all about. I really haven't. I would imagine photographing the people when they're out and about would be really cool, but maybe I've gone the wrong way. Now I have got somewhere I really want to see late afternoon. And I don't want to risk missing an opportunity. So I'm going to ride back out of here and hit the road. I still want a drink. Do 
just found another little bit more of Wadi Halu. I just wanted to show it to you because it's quite pretty sitting down here in this little valley and I love the palm trees over here. Bit of construction work and I can see where the water would rush down through there where those machines are working if it was a wet season. It would all come rushing out of these mountains and swamp everything. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Hey, what's for? Shukran. So I've got myself a bottle of something to drink because I'm hot and thirsty. We've come right across the mountains. We've traveled quite a long way. I'm going to have a little drink of water. And then we're going to hit the trail. Hopefully I can show you something much more photographically interesting than anything we've seen so far. Chukran! Gotta hope the man who hired me the bike isn't watching. Sorry, Serge. Oh, this is proper adventure. Turn left. Where? <laughs> I think I figured it out. Took a bit of looking at the map, walking up and down, climbing over things. First step, we've got to get out of this construction site now. This looks like the best way through. I hope I'm right. Yeah, easy peasy. So we should be able to cut across here. Join this slip road. <laughs> There's a big road closed over there. I do like a road closed sign. It's a challenge. back to the little supermarket where I got a glass of water, a bottle of water just now. Slight left. Are you sure? It doesn't sound right to me. I think we want to go around here. <laughs> Don't you just love exploring? I mean, 
these days when you got a phone in your pocket you can't get lost it's impossible This is the abandoned village? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one. All, All over here. And I can go in? It's okay. Fantastic. Easy. Shukran, brother. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Thank you, my Bye. friend. I didn't expect there to be a load of trucks and stuff out here. Apparently, they're making a movie in this abandoned village, which I think would make some great shots at this time of the day because we got shadows and highlights coming in on the sand dunes. I don't know what's in there. We'll go and have a walk around in a bit and sort of suss it out. But just standing here and looking around, I'm already seeing something that could be very interesting. So let's take a walk. That's really rather lovely in and of itself, isn't it? Putting the bright part of the sky behind the old mosque. That little bit of sand in the foreground. You know what? Carrying a little GoPro camera with you is a really great way to just do a bit of photography because I do love the wide angle stuff you get with the GoPro. I want to do it with the stills camera because I rather like this bit of sand here. No one's walked around on this part. There are no footprints and I want to see if I can use it because it says a little bit more about it. So we've got the abandoned mosque going on. I'm going to expose just what? Maybe a stop over what the light meter thinks it should be. I'm just going to find the right place. We're going to use the distortion of the wide angle lens. I think that's it there. We're just kind of giving a hint of what is this place? You know, it's abandoned. It's lost. Let me grab a GoPro. Let's try taking a still with this bad boy because they are so wide. Oh, look, that looks so cool. I think that looks great. I see, this is the thing, the longer you stay somewhere, the more you start to get in the mood. There are some lovely little pools of light and shade going on inside here, where the light's coming through the windows. This is why I left it till the end of the day, because it looks just so splendid. Look, let's show you. Look at this. Now look, I gotta get the camera straight. Now I've got the exposure quite dark here because it really brings up those colors. But you know, even as we brighten it a little bit, it starts to look really rather interesting, doesn't it? Aren't they some beautiful colors? I quite like that highlight down the side. Now you gotta be careful, because look, that's me and my camera. How much depth of field do we want? I'm gonna go for a little more. I'm gonna go for about F8. The exposure, I'm just gonna do one as the camera wants it, which is gonna be Oh, where are we? It's going to be a 125 at f8. That is pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. There's a lot of detail in there. There's some nice colours too. I quite like that dark foreground. I might shoot another one from a higher angle just to try and lose a little bit of it. And I'm going to keep that highlight of the door frame in there. There we go, like that. That's probably a bit nicer. But I'm going to do another one a little bit brighter. Now, if you're wondering, why on earth do you not just do what the light meter tells you to do, Brown? It's because the camera doesn't know. The camera can't think. I quite like being able to see a little bit of stuff going on outside the window. So a couple of slightly different exposures. They're not a lot, just a bit. But it's just giving a slightly different amount of light and shade. The reason I argue with my light meter is because I've been doing this a very long time and the camera won't always get it right. And if you want to find out what those times are and why the camera won't get it right, then please come and have a look at one of my photography courses. I've got the masterclass, which will tell you everything you need to know about light, composition, the camera, its settings, the things you need and the things you don't. 
because until you can master those without thinking, I'm sorry, my friend, you're at the start of your journey. And if you're beyond that, then maybe you need to start thinking like a photographer, how to string these things together. Take a look at the seven building blocks of photography. It's got some great reviews. Anyway, I want to just see if I can find another shot or two, because the sun is getting quite low over the sand. See if we can find a vantage point. We're always looking for that sunset picture, but try and do it differently. Try and find a way of looking at this that no one else has done before. Look, you see those two gateposts and that tree over there? And now it's really, really bright. But even now I think it could work because by lining things up, we've got that silhouette thing going on already. And that tree and the gate and positioning it down low, you're getting a real dramatic sort of a shot. That is the composition. How simple is that? So what sort of exposure? Well, I'm actually going for, I'm using a 2,000th of a second at F8 400 ISO at the moment, but I always shoot and check. So I just want to make sure I've got everything straight and lined up. I rather like it. There we go. It's just a different way of looking at a sunset instead of just doing the obvious. Speaking of doing it differently, you may not be able to see them. There's three guys on a roof just over there with a colourful sky behind them. And I can't help but think that could be quite nice if we choose the right moment. I'm using exactly the same exposure that I used just now. Here we go. I quite like having a little human figure in there. It just gives it a little bit of personality rather than just being another sunset. You see how many pictures we're picking up. As the sun's setting, over there in the distance, there are two little mountain peaks. Let me see if I can show you. Look, that's kind of nice, isn't it? But what if we kind of take the camera down See if we can pick up some of these little ripples that are going on on the ground. Something like that. I know it's a lot of foreground, but oh, well, that's quite nice. There's some little pebbles in the foreground here. Let's see, how does that look? I like those little black bits going on down here. Double check it. Always check while you're still on location. So you know if everything's all right. Right, the pebbles are sharp, the sunset's soft. What I need to do is just make that aperture smaller. Increase that ISO to compensate so that it's all good. Shadow speed can come down a bit. There we go. Let's have a look, double check it. Look at those little ripples, those little dark pebbly shapes going on there. I think that looks pretty good. So I hope you've enjoyed this trip around Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates, home to the Exposure International Photography Festival. I know I bang on about it, but you really should come. It is the most inspiring photography event ever. Come over here, come and have an explore. Wherever you go, just explore. Okay, I'm doing it on a motorcycle. I'm nuts, you don't have to. Go explore, record your journey, take pictures. Be well, I'll see you next time.